November 22nd, the meeting of the Board of Zoning Appeals to order. And the first item on the agenda is the introduction of members. Jeff Walker representing the area planning. Doug Walker representing the schools. Everett Snowberger, Town of Camden. Teresa Maxwell, Carroll County Commissioners. Randy Strasser, City of Delphi. Laura Fennell, Area Planning. Kevin Yates, Area Planning Director. Cindy Harmon, Legal Counsel. Okay. Next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from October 25th, 2020. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes as presented? Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion from the board? Hearing none, call the question. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is special exception SE 2022-3 TMP holdings. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. I have a question of order. Do we need to go through the presentation by the petitioner again? Not the whole. I would just say tell us what's different from the last time and go from there. And then a question that I was thinking about over the past month. He has two property parcels side by side. Are there any requirements that that be a single parcel if the building he's putting on will go across the parcel line? It would probably be a bad idea if they were all on the same parcel. So in other words. But it's not a requirement. But it's not a requirement. Not a requirement. Not a requirement. Okay. So there's no need. We have a lot of that in town. Okay. I just want to clear that. So then any variances for square footage or setbacks and stuff would go off of the combination two parcel property lines. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. So Todd, would you like to address us on what you're doing? Give us an update please. For reference from last meeting we have both parcels named as far as in the special exemption. I did provide a drawing that I made as far as what our property layout would potentially look like. I believe we've met the setbacks that are outlined in the ordinance as far as the 20 feet, 15 feet, 6 feet off the sides. The question I think arises as far as the variance in septic and the language of how to fully understand the ordinance where it's two families, 3,500, multi-families, 2,500 square feet in lot size. And we fall a little short with our current lot size and the requirements. I mean, which one of those would fall under which would be the one we're still a little short, I guess, the square footage for the sewer system. Again, our project proposes two buildings, most likely in two phases. Building one being the two units sitting along Washington Street. Building two sitting directly behind it with access when you want. It would require both lots if the building will sit over the property line in the center of the house. Any questions from the board for Todd? So the apartment, this is building front and the apartment will run long and straight? So the apartment will actually run the other way. Probably all shaped. The one that goes in front. It's just what I call the front of the building. This is the front of this building. And that's for two units, so it's just going to be in. So it's less than eight hundred From what I see on the drawing, so the building two 
it's not going to have access to more of the streets. It only has access to the outer ring. Correct. And that's the front. And what we're calling the front of the building. So they're going to have to use that alley. Correct. But that's not a, that's not a main team thoroughfare way of city, right? It's a city alley. Are you talking like pavement and you know, yeah, snow removal and that? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not a it's not paved, it's just a regular standard alley that they can put on the road and all that. Yeah, it's not I go down it today and I was just a little curious about that. I have a question, Cameron. Uh, how would you do the address of the plaintiffs in the case of the office? That that's a very good question because we could do it anyway. <coughs> The new data or the software we have, it, it attaches to whatever road. So you go and put a GPS coordinates on the structure, and then you go out to the road. And with this one, with the, the alley, we could either do Howard, go down and come up to Washington. But technically, with the front of the building, well, they're going in facing market, and I just have to see what it generated, okay. and then go off of that because you don't usually get a lot of them that have entrance to alleys. Okay. And then, and then, I, did you get a chance to speak with the city about using the alley? Because it's, I don't know. Okay. Is there a problem with fire trucks and ambulance in the alley? You wouldn't get a fire truck on that alley? Okay. I was going to do it today. So I guess I'm referencing back to the comment that, which is still kind of up in the air. We had to have a 20 foot egress, which is where I mentioned I was going to drive. And I mean, in order to create the egress for that block, if that was a requirement. <coughs> well, according to the drawing, you show the building, building front. So you get the front 24 foot of the parking. Don't you need a 15 foot rear yard in? Because you're calling this front of the building? There's, there's six buildings since you've got to make it just for 20 foot of the building. Then you get, what, 15 or 20 foot well, it, the part, the, usually the parcel front. So it does have in two buildings, obviously building one, the front's going to be Washington. Building two with it going to the, to the side. I think it's just the parcel stays, the setbacks stay with the parcel, correct? Yes. Yeah. So it's not going to change just because of the building. So the front's always going to be. The front's going to be the 20 foot side and the rear is going to be the 15. Correct. Like you've got shown here. Correct. Then when you get a push, you call it the front of the building. Correct. Because this, this had a previous, well, obviously 418 uh, North Washington, so, yeah. Todd, I got a question for you. Why two buildings and not one structure? Money. Set it up on spine. I can't afford to build two of them right now. Or one big one. Structure costs are too high. <coughs> Anything over three, you gotta go sprinkler or it's a different classification for fire markings like this. Mm -hmm. just only that they just have different fire markings. So yeah. Does it require a state for that when you go to four years or more? Three years or three more. Three or more requires a CDR. Construction design or lease from the Department of Homeland Security. Okay. To be honest, any incorporated town could certainly they have the they can mandate it within their incorporated limits as well. So that's that's not good to know. And your site plan for utilities? We haven't done that yet. Have you spoke with uh, Dick Van Sickle or Craig to make sure that the water would, will be able to be? Obviously, there's more units there now, more water, more sewage. <clears throat> Any other questions? Anything 
he did meet all the criteria. The sign was properly posted and it was uh, properly advertised and the apparel came out. And waived the fee because he had already paid the fee. Okay, so we met, up, we met all the advertising requirements? And yep. And it's okay. so. All right. Don, thank you very much. So to carry over from last month's meeting, we received an application from TNP Holdings for the special uh, exception uh, located at 418 uh, North Washington Street. Um, the applicant was requesting a special exception to build one two-family and one uh, multi-family dwelling on the property which requires a special exception as stated in the Delphi City Ordinance Article 3. Section 1, Paragraph 8, Item 8. Um, and again, we, re we are revisiting last month where we now have both parcels listed. Um, it's properly advertised, like I said. So, and then Todd just provided everybody with the name. Section. Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of this? Let's see, this is special exception. Correct? Yes, special exception. As presented. Anyone wish to speak in opposition to the special exception? Please come up and state your name. I'd rather see single homes, maybe a, a flipped house that you want to build house, a couple houses on one each lot to build them. I, that's that's different than what is being done here. Um, you have to you know, come you know, down in that area already. I, I mean, I don't know how to how the rent you know, can go or where. That's not my but I just would rather see single family homes being put in. It's people that's going to buy it. They're going to take more pride in the place. Live there for a longer length of time than maybe what a rental contract would be. So I, I really don't know. I don't have a whole lot more to say as far as that goes. And just know there's not going to be much area if all those buildings get put up. If there are any kids in the area, where are they going to go play? They don't have a yard to play in. They play in the alley on the street or wherever. That may not be the case. I, except I don't know. Setbacks are on property lines. Do you think it would be 12 foot between the homes, probably? I don't think we're doing 12 foot. I don't think there was when we went out measuring it before. But again, this, this was built prior to 1971, the, the house that was okay. torn down. So it was legal, it was legal not conforming. Yeah. But, yeah, so. but now it wouldn't be great. Right? Yeah. Now it has to be built to the yeah. new standards. But yeah. the city has a rule, the 75% rule, to 
where if 75% of this block is where it's at, then this house can match up with that. But that doesn't change the side setback of how close you can. Um, well, I just noticed them earlier when I go down your, your basement or cellar access is that. It's on that side, yeah. Because well, when the old house sit there, if I took the door, it fits my hand. I just slide it down and slip it up. And I get off that part from the old house at that time. I walk up off the glass. Any other questions? Thanks, sir. Thank you. So is this also an alley on this west? There's two alleys, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alley here. And what it goes to Howard, one it goes to the straight to Washington. <clears throat> All right, anyone else want to speak in favor or against? Can I say something else, I guess? Yeah, with it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, I guess no. it's a concern. I mean, I probably make the area, I guess, better. Um, you know, if you look around any of the properties I've bought here in Delphi, fixed up, flipped, rented, what have you. You know, I think I've made drastic improvements there to the property that we've touched. Um, you know, we took a I saw a part of building out here, uh, cleaned it up on Franklin Street, you know, put a daycare in the downstairs of it, made it a nice property, made it, took it from an eyesore in that neighborhood to something that I think is presentable and um, pleasing to the eye for the neighborhood. You know, this area over here off Washington Street is kind of run down the way it is. I think that this, uh, I get concerned as far as single family homes, but at the same time, you know, we don't have any single family homes in that area already. I think this is going to be a much added addition to that area. If you continue on around the corner, you know, I've got one on uh, Drivers right now that's been a huge eyesore this community as far as I'm concerned since I can remember. And it looks 100 times better than it did six months ago, a year ago, when we purchased the property and started on it. And we'll take another one on 9th Street, kind of done the same thing, take a house that was kind of run down, dilapidated, fixed up, made in a nice place. You know, I'm trying to, I live here in this community, I'm like some of the others have done some of these things in the past. Trying to make our community better. I'm trying to improve the housing situation in this community, you know, both in quantities of housing and readily available housing, along with the standard of housing, I guess, that we have. So, what that's worth, I mean, I'm happy to take you any of my properties if you'd like to see them. You know, that we've, we've touched, we've had, um, just to give you some kind of idea. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> any other comments? And then I'll call the public comment portion of the meeting closed. So at this point in time, we have to uh, decide whether we're going to make a motion to approve the special exception, you know, uh, table it or deny it. And Cindy, are these, these, these are not recommendations to the city. They are. They are. So these, so there would be also another option of uh, making no recommendation to the city. Hmm. I do have a concern about the fire truck. Um, apparently, the ambulance didn't make it down. I'm assuming it does have a pickup truck. But uh, actually, I do got a call on that one. Oh my. Sorry. So I do have that concern. Uh, my comment is that if building number two was on fire, my guess is the fire department probably would not want to the truck. That close to the building anyway. You know, it's true. They'd probably be on Washington Street, Howard Street, and run hoses through it. So, um, ambulance. I've driven the truck a lot of places. There's not a lot of places that couldn't get an ambulance down. The only places you do where you drive through in the mirrors, rub on the roads, and pull back. So that's just my comment. Uh, any other comments or discussion from the board? Question to you. Um, you asked me about several questions from the city. What was the So any new builds for our office has to have health department approval. And if it's within an incorporated town, that town has to approve. You know, it's obviously the 
change of what was there before, so it cannot handle it. Can the city infrastructure handle now multiple units instead of a single family dwelling? Um, can the traffic even use the alley? It's, it's a city alley, it's not. So th that's. Do we normally get that information before we approve any variance or anything like that? It's good to know because, we, I mean, that's, that's something we don't know. I mean, we don't. We don't know that they're even going to allow the, the if they say no, this, this can't handle that much septic or can't handle that much water, which I don't know if that's the case. It's information that we're approving the exception for. So, um, And then the alley, if, if it's an ingress, egress, and the alley is going to be used, that that's, has to be. I mean, it's, it has to be approved one way or another through the city, otherwise you're not going to be able to get people to the, to the structure. So, so this would be... Those quite the answer to those questions would be a Todd's risk. Correct. That's yeah. right. We couldn't we couldn't we walk, issue any that. type of a building permit without having all those things. Right. right. So and if Clarify. any of those aren't met, you know, he would have to rethink his Correct. plan as he's going right. forward. Right. Yeah, that's all to say. So you said something about three units and up have to have a CRD? Pass anything past three. It goes to a CDR to construction designer. So it's four and up. Yeah, that's fire the fire marshal's office. You have yeah. a firewall. And the other department of fire prevention, building safety. You know, have to have a design release and foundation release. Which any incorporated town can, you know, even if it doesn't pass that threshold, they can say it doesn't matter. We we want to have it anyways. Yeah. For the fact that they have public utilities. Yeah. 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 does not require that. Or does, if the representative from the city, when this came forward last month, mm -hmm. uh, I had conversation with uh, the, the mayor, and there was no communications. Uh, there is a fair amount of concern from the city standpoint about the density, that much density on one lot. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, it doesn't meet the comprehensive plan that, that they have. And uh, in that area, as you go back to the East in some other areas where there have been demolitions on lots and residential areas like that, uh, they're typically been fitted with one uh, building. Some of them are duplexes, some of them are single homes. So they're in. I know, I know there was discussion last time about uh, the big apartment complex down to the near it, Canal Commons. Uh, that kind of fit in with the, the housing, uh, senior housing and everything. So, but the way the city looks at this is that it's strictly residential and there'd be too much density on there. There are, uh, there's a triplex, uh, I think probably about three blocks away. Is it a legal triplex? It was built. Girl Manahan built that. that. That's the thing is we have a lot of properties in Delphi that were split right down the middle, but no, no, this is this is this is a uh, single story was built. single story three three unit building, and then down by where you're building, there's a four unit down there, isn't there? Uh, that, that, uh, that was built before that. Yeah, that was the, 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 other, the other one. The other was 70, 70, 200 square foot lot, and needed seventy five hundred. They got a variance for the for about seventy five hundred square feet. That was at that, that, that meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So there, you know, there is. Precedence in that you know, date back into the early 70s. Recent, no recent precedence. No. no the, the three, three, the three unit fits. Not everything's the same when you start. That's on a corner lot, so you've got more space. So the parking's there. You use part of the roadway as you're parking on one side. So if you look where that's sitting at, you get exit on the end. You get four on that lot, and a little better than three on this lot because you got both sides of the corner. Ray and when you're talking about the density of the units, were they just talking about? Like one block, or they talk about including the senior the density on just parcels, you know, those two parcels, parcels. <coughs> and that one block, or that one. I didn't know if it was like quarter block. blocks there because no, of the, one quarter block. Okay. When you get to the technical rules of it, you know, Delphi or Carroll County does not have a uh, uh, requirement for maximum percentage of lot being covered, like it's cast, like. Cass County and Lowe's forecast. I, and I don't know the exact rules down in Lafayette, but I imagine they have the same thing down there. 
which you know, the rules are what they are. We have to go by what they are, what's written. So the uh, the question would be is uh, whether we make recommendation too favorable to the city for this uh, this special exception, uh, make no recommendation, make a negative recommendation, or table the uh, uh, table the. Uh, Special exception. Those are those are technically the four four options that we have on here. So, is there any other discussion? I don't think we should table it. Does nobody even get to do that? It's okay. Right. That, should be, okay. that should be off the table. Just well, that's it's, it's, one, it's, one, know, of, it's one of the parliamentary uh, I just feel like options that we have. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> So it's, it's you can only kick the can so long. That's right. There, there's four members on this board that can make uh, make a motion. So lives within the city limits, and I know the conversations I've had. So dice for a second, and dice for a second. But I'll make a uh, motion to deny the special exception. Motion's made and seconded. Any discussion from the board? Hearing none, I call the question. All in favor signify by uh, of denying the special exception. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. So with that, uh, if th this we had to have the special exception to do the variance. Correct. So that becomes a good point. Good point. So we, we don't proceed to the, the variance then? No. So Todd's options are at this point in time would be to present a different plan. <coughs> you know, you could significantly change the design as he has presented it and then Come back to the board again, correct? We can. You know, the uh, uh, because it's denied, you cannot present the same plan that you have here presently for a period of one year, correct, Cindy? Well, but if he's coming back with a totally different. No, no. I mean, I, what I'm saying is okay. that th this exact plan here, right. he cannot come back for a year. Correct. Okay. So you could not present a five five units on those two parcels. Well, any time within the next 12 months. So I guess I'm confused. Yeah. I thought this had to, no matter what you guys did, it goes to the city and for them to decide, since this is inside the city limits. That's, that's true. Yeah, it said, said non-favorable. So it's a non-favorable so recommendation. It's a non-favorable non non recommendation to the city. Yeah. Okay. So you'll, you can still uh, petition to get on the city council agenda. It'll just be the paperwork will be what ours is, and then they'll make the final decision. Okay, in that instance, Cindy, should we go ahead and proceed with the variance then? I don't think so. That that would be. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no well. If the city would approve it, let's say just by chance, if the city would approve it, even though we gave an, un gave an unfavorable recommendation, you know. Well, then, <clears throat> okay, so maybe I would, if you're going to make an unfavorable recommendation to, on the special exception, then you probably should make the same on the variance. So they both have been dealt with through the area plan. And then the city has control of one thing. Right. They can still, re they can still so visit So we, we should proceed with the, the variance then. Yes. And, and they can still visit I mean, even point. though it's a moot, I mean, ultimately it's a moot, but. On our end. On our end, but that would preclude them he can if, still if he the if he if he went in front of the city council and the city council said well we think it's okay we're going to grant we're going to go ahead and grant your special exception but we've not done anything on the variance he would have to come back to us again right so i mean you know i think the proper thing is to deal with the variance also. which you know it could be either you know favorable recommendation no recommendation unfavorable or people I, I would agree. Okay. All right. So, okay. Giving the legal advice, we shall proceed with variance 
2022-8 TMP Holdings. And the variance is I believe that's a variance on square footage on the P lots. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Which was also discussed last month. So you guys yeah. uh, came up with the, the number that it was shy with the two lots. So, Cindy, I've got a question for you on, on uh, legal. Uh, a duplex would fall under the city requirement of four thousand square feet for dwelling units with sanitary sewers. Multiple family would be 2,500 square foot per dwelling unit. Yeah. Same family is 3,500. 3,500. So once you get past oh. two, you get to five units, which is 12,500. It stays under U2, it's under U2. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I apologize. So I reached out to several of you to make sure that we did this correct and we were short. Article 3, yep, so page 12 states that single family is 5,000, two oh, family okay. is 3,500, yeah. and multiple family is 2,500. Yep, and you too, you too. I, I apologize, I am so sorry. Okay, so let's drop back, uh, let me re-ask this. Uh, Cindy, we have 25 or 3,500 square feet for a two, fa two family and multiple family is 2,500 square feet. Does it matter whether the multi-family on the, on the lot is duplexes or triplexes or combination thereof? So in other words, if you multi -family have Multi-family is considered you, over three or more. So, I mean, it can't be a duplex with three families. Well, yeah, if he just puts a duplex on there, the requirement is 3,500 square feet. Right. But if he puts a duplex and a triplex, would that be five units at 2,500 square feet? That's multiple families all in the That's the way it's been done the last week. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I reached out to you guys to get the match whenever and come up with 28 to So that, that would be five times 2,500 would be 12,500 square feet. Right. Lots are 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Well, no, the five point five hundred would be twelve thousand five hundred. Bottom of the wrong part. Yeah. Bottom of the wrong. I'm sorry. At the very top, where it hasn't broken down into. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
water and sewer issues. I have not have talked to them. The biggest reason being in the house and my property has never has been hit the city water or sewer. There's no it's problem. never been what? It's never been hit the city water or sewer. But we were told before that. So there's no lines at all whatsoever nope, between the city and the structure? So it's got septic and a wall on it? I don't have any idea what's there, but the house has been vacant for so many years except it wasn't hooked up. So that, that, that's another question. Was it really even installed? So <coughs> I told you it would not we put a house down. But you don't know if there's a well or a septic there anywhere? There's, there's no well. There's no well. And darn all, there's no septic there. But there's a water, when they ran the water lines for this city street project, et cetera, there's, they said there's connection points out of the street. I'm sorry, it'll be the end of the street. Oh, that's right. Not a big deal. We talked to Alan George about it before the house down. It wasn't a big deal to get up to him, but supposedly they were going to have to go. Thanks, Don. Staff uh, report, you know, advertising. Yeah, he, uh, yes, it was properly advertised at the same time as a special exception. <coughs> uh, it was advertised in the Carroll County Comet. What a step report the same as the sign posted, be paid. Yep, everything is you know, all criteria for the petition is met. Okay, just dot me eyes crossing. Okay, uh, any discussion from the board? Hearing none, I'll open the public comment section. Anyone wish to speak in favor of this? Anyone wish to speak against it? If you want to come up, please. Yeah. It'd be, it'd just be pretty much the same thing. Okay, just, just say. It's going to be a crowd here. Come, you know, okay. Come up, state your name. Um, please do. Yeah. It's Robert Will. My name is Robert Will. Yeah, it'd be pretty much the same. It's going to be a pretty confined area of all those buildings that we're going to have. That's going to be pretty packed. All right. Thank you. Thank you. There's also a letter in your packet. Yeah, that's from the last meeting as well. Same letter. This, this is the gentleman that submitted the letter. Okay. All right. Anyone else wish to speak against it? Hearing none, I'll call the public comment section closed. Any discussion from the board? I sure can't turn it down. We've got one down the street that's much more dense than our history. It only got, uh, what, 1,400 square feet per year? Can I comment? Is that what we figured out? Uh, as far as the, the lot, yeah, but then it goes. Yeah, it goes that's, up. That's so exactly goes, what I'm saying. There's enough There's enough property on there to put a two-story on there to make it fit like the Canal Commons, but that could not vote against it. They got the biggest area going up, not out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Apples to apples, there's uh, Jeff. Uh, I mean, so, we're talking about 20, 20 per unit on the lot. And see, if he goes up, he can do the same thing as they did down there. The yeah. change is made to the 40 foot strong lot. There's no designation in the zoning ordinances as presented or as written about whether the square footage is, you know, on single story or multi story. You know. So it, it just goes strictly on square footage. Of, Property or square footage of building. Correct. Okay. Any other discussion? So as it stands, we have three. Or we have four different options. We can make a favorable recommendation to the city. We can make a uh, make no recommendation to the city, a uh, uh, unfavorable recommendation to the city, or we can table the uh, uh, variance as presented. So I'll retain a motion.
special exception. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion from the board? Uh, I'd like to make a comment, you know, and I'd like to comment that I kind of agree with Jeff. Uh, it'd be hard to, hard to deny it based on square footage when we look at Canal Commons, you know, being so close and being so far. Uh, less square footage of property per unit, you know, and if we're following the rules as they are written. So that's, that's my comment. I would add that uh, I would probably change my mind if there was a lot of things worked out with the city first. Um, I just feel like there should be a lot of discussion or, or work with the city before we okay it. I, I just I'm very uncomfortable with that. And I understand that we're Canal Colleges, but that's another block. And sometimes things are separated by city blocks, but see and see that. I mean, it, it, there's this here, and then across the street, there's a totally different set of buildings. But it makes me nervous doing that without the city approval. Well, my comment is that uh, Todd is at risk on this. You know, this is like, this is exactly like buying a piece of property uh, to, you buy a piece of property, and you try to have it rezoned so you can make your industrial development on it. And if you, once you've purchased the property, you know, it becomes your risk at, at doing it. So if it's denied, it's your loss. So you know, it's outside of our purvey whether the city is going to give him water or sewer access or whether they improve the street. The only thing is that uh, in the uh, in the zoning ordinances, we have if if we decide to go forward with a, uh, a variance on that, we have the, the questions that we have to address, and one of those is egress and in, ingress and egress, and that would be a uh, question that would be uh, answered during those five questions, the five or three questions that I mentioned. I'll comment on. So. Yeah, just three. Yeah. The special um, exception has got the question for ingress. I think ingress. I'm going to have to go back even on the special exception I think you need to go through the questions and give reason as to why you you voted to not yeah. accept it yeah that way, to, that way if something should come down further the road we it shows that we did everything we're supposed to do should we table this for the time being and then as a point of order and then uh, Go back to the uh, special exception. I go ahead and do your variance now, and then just go back. You've already voted on the special exception, but you need to go give the answers address. to the five questions. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks, Andy. Uh, okay. So we Mr. have the motion. Mr. President, just just as a comment, uh, my, myself and I think the city doesn't want to be looked at as not being promoting uh, development. I think it's the, the, the type of development and everything in, in certain areas. So uh, I don't I don't want, want to get that wrong. It's just the the, the type of density in, in this one area that doesn't meet other areas where small lots like that have actually been developed, redeveloped uh, after a house has been come down for one reason or another. So. We have a motion on the floor to not make a favorable recommendation. Is there any other further Is this discussion? on the variance? This is on the variance. Okay. Not to not make a favorable recommendation on the variance to the city. Uh, any other discussion from the board? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor. 